Hi, I'm Susan Alexander for The Funky Professor. Studying anatomy at the best of times is challenging as there are hundreds of new words and structures that you have to learn and remember. But studying anatomy during COVID is a totally different ball game. I know that a lot of universities have had to restrict their teaching facilities due to COVID. And for a lot of students, this means distance learning. And I can only imagine just how lonely and demoralizing this can be. In this video, I wanted to share 10 really hopefully helpful tips on how to approach studying anatomy during COVID lockdowns. The first one I think is a really important one, and this is to take some time and think about your long-term goal. And this means not just, I want to pass the exam, but where is this going to take you in life? What is it that you want to achieve as a result of finishing your course? Once you have thought about it, write it out and put it somewhere really prominent where you can see it every day. This is really important because it will remind you every day of your long-term goal and why you're doing this. Because let's face it, studying sometimes can be super hard. And if you have this, it really will motivate you every day. Number two is to have a plan. Now, definitely plan out each day. Otherwise, it will be so easy to spend the whole day in pyjamas watching Netflix. Make sure that you have regular reminders during the day just to check your schedule and say, OK, am I doing it? Am I on schedule? Otherwise, if you're anything like me, before you know it, the whole day is gone and you'll be thinking, oh, why didn't I just keep up with things? So plan it, write it out and check it regularly during the day. Number three, I used to certainly do a lot when I was studying, and this is take regular study breaks where you do something active even if it's just standing up and down a few times, doing some stretches or jumping jacks. Sitting down for too long will give you a backache, it'll get you demotivated, and actually you'll learn a whole load more quickly and efficiently if you have regular breaks. Now when I was studying, I used to have dance breaks and it was James Brown that used to keep me going. In particular, get up off of that thing. Tip number four, with regards to actual anatomy content, the first thing to do is get your timetable and figure out what subjects you're actually going to be covering this year. Ideally, have a calendar and place it somewhere on a wall so you can see it at a glance which subjects you'll be covering and when. Try and keep up with this schedule and don't get too far behind. If you skip a day or two, you'll probably be able to get away with it. But if you skip a whole week, you're going to have to work so much harder to catch up. And believe me, I know this from personal experience. Tip number five, at the start of the week, I would watch a tutorial on the subject that you're going to cover in the week to come. And this will put you ahead of the game. And it means that when you do watch your university tutors deliver their lectures on it, you will already know what they're talking about. So you're not spending time trying to catch the words. You'll already be familiar with the words. If it were me, I would watch a video the whole way through without stopping, unless of course you lose concentration, then by all means rewind to where you dropped off. But it's important not to get too bogged down in the detail. If you watch a tutorial that has pictures as part of the presentation, this is even better as you can visualize the structures that are being discussed. Tip number six for studying anatomy. I would use an atlas, or if you have access to a 3D computer program, look at the structures that have just been discussed. Look at the location of the structure and look at the relationships to other structures near it. Again, don't get stuck on the detail because all you're doing is trying to place it where its position is in the body. And if you have a computer program, try and spin it round and view the structure from all angles, as this will help you remember where it is. An atlas is particularly good because you can see cadaveric pictures, which is the most realistic to the actual humans. 3D computer graphics are brilliant, but to be honest, when you go into the body, it isn't as brightly beautifully colored and illustrated as it is in a uh, graphic program, it tends to be quite different. So using the two together is a great way to reinforce your learning. Tip number seven, having watched the video, having gone to an atlas, I would then watch the video again, but this time make notes as you go. Now, when I say make notes, don't just transcribe the commentary word for word. That's not the point. Instead, make abbreviated notes and get used to the words. If you happen to be using the Funky Professor for your studies, we have worksheets on every topic that you can download to help you start making notes. Tip number eight, 
I would then watch a revision video to consolidate the topic. Stop and start this video so you really get a chance to focus in on the details and you can check it with your notes. Again, if you happen to be using the Funky Professor, we have revision slides that are narrated, but you can also download them as a PDF so you can click through them at your own pace. Um, if you haven't already, take a look at our basics package. There are loads of things that you can try out and you can try these all out for free by clicking the link below. Number nine is a really important step. And for me, it absolutely made the difference between failure and success. Tip number nine is work with friends. I cannot recommend this highly enough. Work with some friends to see how much you have understood. Now I understand there may be some restrictions in place so that you're not allowed to see people face to face, but you can do this online and that's okay. Just try and form a study group of about five or six people. If you do more than that, it can be harder for each person to be heard, particularly online. To make this experience more enjoyable, don't just recite facts to each other. You can try and turn it into a game. Try turning learning into a game. For example, you could give each other clues for a structure and the other person has to guess the structure. Or you could prepare four or five questions on a topic and test each other. The format of your game doesn't really matter too much. The whole point is get chatting because this way you will also get used to saying the words and you will learn your anatomy better. There is a huge difference between seeing the words and reciting them in your head to actually saying it out loud. So doing this with friends is a great way. And if you turn it into a game, it will become more fun. And as you know, at The Funky Professor, we strongly believe that fun is the key to learning which is why we called it funky in the first place. Number 10, this is super important to wrap it up. I know, myself included, a lot of students are good at writing to-do lists, but this tip is so important to keep your spirits up, particularly right now. At the end of each day, write a list for all the things that you have achieved or have learnt that day. Make this your have done list. As you see that list getting longer, it will be such a sense of achievement. Take pride in what you have done rather than beating yourself up about what you haven't done. I think the biggest struggle during COVID will be keeping a positive mindset and maintaining motivation. Don't let COVID isolate you completely. It is important to have regular contact with other students and keep each other supported and get through this together. If you have some time, please take a look at our blogs where I give you lots more strategies to help you learning more efficiently. You can register for our free package where you can access our resources to try them or simply just sign up to our Ultimate Funky Anatomy package to access everything straight away. Also, take part in our weekly Funky Friday quizzes to test your knowledge. They are short and cover a whole range of topics and I give mini tutorials where I go through the answers at the end. So it's a great way of learning anatomy. I hope this has been helpful. Please leave me a comment below and I'm sending loads of virtual hugs and best wishes for all of you right now at university studying. Please stay safe and stay funky. Your anatomy matters.